everyone, it's me, Eve, and honestly, I just want to say thank you so much for like sticking with me. Having people actually subscribe to my channel with the little videos that I had and then the time span that I haven't been uploading. Ooh. So I kind of just wanted to make this video as a little update as to kind of why I was kind of gone. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before that, I mean, I go to school full time and then I'm in a program that can be really intensive. I love it a lot. Like I really, really do. And I love YouTube, but it's kind of hard because this is a really fun hobby, but I don't know. I kind of have to be like true to myself and kind of find like a more practical <laughs> way of living. I mean, if YouTube like pops off for me, that would honestly be a miracle, like winning the lottery. But I really do love learning what I am right now. So I'm like totally fine with just like doing this on the side and actually doing a real career you know, pursuing a real career. Also, not to get like really sad, but towards the end of the year, I start getting really depressed or not depressed. I just start getting like really sad for some reason. And it's not because of like what anyone's done to me or I don't know, this situation. Like I'm not in a bad situation at all. Like I have a roof over my head. I'm able to eat and like provide for myself. So it's nothing like that. I don't know. I just like emotionally, for some reason, the end of the year always gets to me. It might just because of school and like stress and I, I really like don't see anyone like I don't get to see any of my friends typically when I'm in school I'm literally always there and then if I'm not there then I'm at my part-time job I'm guessing probably because of those things and, it, and it's always happened because I've always done school and work together because I'm sad I just feel like really uninspired to do anything I kind of just want to sleep all day I hope that's not like really sad or anything but I'm just telling you like it's the truth that's kind of what happens this break so far that I'm finally on it's helped a lot I got to see like some friends finally <laughs> and um hang out with like some really cool people so that was really good what else what else has happened in my life uh, I think last time I kind of left off was like a tinder date. Oh no, I did like a kind of Halloween tutorial and I was meaning to t show you guys like my actual Halloween costume. It came out super cool. I spent so much money on it, like so much money. Like I didn't realize how much I spent on this costume till my friends just like decided to add it up for some reason and let me know. But Halloween is like my time. I go so hard with Halloween. I don't know, it's just always been like a special thing to me. But yeah, so I wanted to show you the costume. Bam! It's Beyonce from her formation video. The one, you know, obviously you see the picture right here. I don't have to explain, but it came out, I, I don't know, it came out so well. Uh, I think, I love her, I love her work. And that was honestly one of like the looks that popped out to me like the most. It was like the most iconic or something about, maybe because it's witchy looking witchy vibes. I loved it so much and I think it came out really great. So that's my in that's my Instagram handle if you want to follow me there. Honestly, I don't know if you want to follow me there because I, I still don't post that much on there. If you really want to like keep up with me for some reason, even though I don't know if you find me interesting at all, you can follow my Snapchat. Bam. Right there. Add me if you want. It, I do weird things. I think I'm kind of entertaining sometimes. I probably post things every day. Very weird to like, you know, shout out my own username. It's kind of lame. Oh, I left off, like I said, I left off with a Tinder date. That didn't, I mean, it was, it was good for what it was, but then it ended. Not bad or anything. It's just, it like ended. So yeah, I'm still looking. I'm still looking for that right person. Honestly, I don't even know if I want a boyfriend. <laughs> I, I do and I don't. Maybe it's just like this time and like all these couples are together and it's snuggling because it's Christmas and you want to kiss that person on New Year's and stuff. But they're all that like lame bullshit. They try to feed you. I don't know. I just think it would maybe it'd be nice to like have someone to like count on or like have someone always emotionally available to you. Not that I'm like a super emotional person. I kind of like bottle things up and that's probably why I'm so sad at the end of the year because it's like starting to like seep out. Yeah, <laughs> those are my own issues I need to deal with. Honestly, I don't know if I would have time for a boyfriend. I mean, that's a lot of commitment to like a person. Not only do they have to be emotionally available to me, but vice versa, I have to be there for them. But with my schedule and I don't even get to see my like own friends or even my family very often, I don't know if I... <laughs> I could like handle a boyfriend, but the thought is nice. The thought's always there. 
<sighs> maybe one one of these days. Maybe when I, I start a real career and I just have a job and then I have more time for like social life. Oh, something out of nowhere happened. It might be an op prove to be an opportunity for me within YouTube. Kind of, it's hard to say that might happen next year and it has nothing to do related to what you've seen on my channel. Like beauty wise, it could be very different. And it's for someone that I follow on Instagram and I find them so funny. Like all of their videos are so funny. I don't want to like shout out their name just yet because like <laughs> will it happen? I don't know. I don't want to like shout out their name and like nothing happen and then just <laughs> be embarrassed, you know, because <laughs> that could happen. And we bonded over La La Land. Like La La Land. La La Land bringing people together. Yet again, it's still an amazing movie. I'm still not over it. It's been a year and I still cry every time I hear the soundtrack. I have the soundtrack on my Spotify, so every time that's on shuffle, it'll come up and I'm like <laughs> at the first note. Also, regarding my channel, I, I've been also struggling with that because I don't know if I want to stay with the beauty thing that I've been doing. I love makeup, like don't get me wrong. I don't know if I want to stay with that. One, the beauty community, at least like the more popular ones, it, it seems like it gets very like ugly, like gossipy, and a lot of drama happens within it. I'm not like really one for drama. Like I'll be one to like sit down and watch drama happening, but I'm, I never like to put myself in drama. And this is like, it's so ridiculous me saying this because it's, I'm, what, I have like 700, subscribers or something like that. I'm nowhere in that tier of like <laughs> where shit sorry my phone keeps going off. I am not in that tier with like Jeffrey, Manny, Jacqueline, Laura, you know, the list can go on. For such a channel that focuses like on beauty and like well being, it kind of seems like it gets really ugly and like say I do hit that lottery and my channel like <laughs> miraculously blows up or something like do I want to be a part of that I don't know I like doing makeup for like fun sometimes I feel I'm being forced to make up a look or like do something I don't know it's it's so hard to describe but that's just these are just my thoughts I have to feel like inspired to want to do a makeup look another thing with that I just feel like the beauty community is very saturated everyone does the same things not that I'm original at all because I've I've done like the same video tags and stuff, but it's just becoming like heavily saturated with the same looks, the same ideas, like everyone seems just like a clone of one another and it's getting like really boring. But that's also up to me, like I don't have to like get into that. I can be original if I want to. And it's funny because if you watched my first my very first video, it's very terrible. <laughs> Not that these are any better. But I mean, at least qualities stepped up just a tiny bit. It was supposed to be a channel that pushed me to do things that I was thinking of doing, but like would push me to like actually do them and commit them and like give me something to do to like be creative. And somehow it fell into like doing makeup. Again, not that I hate it or anything. Like I, I really do love makeup a lot, as you can see by my eyes. <laughs> Glitter. I just feel like stagnant and what I've been doing. So I want you guys to like really tell me if you'd like to see more beauty videos because obviously that's why you subscribe. That's what I've been putting out lately. So I would hate for a channel that I subscribe for certain content to completely change and it'd be like, what? Like, where did this come from? I don't know, you guys tell me. <laughs> if you comment, <laughs> I'll probably get like two comments. <sighs> that's kind of all I wanted to bring up and update you guys on. Uh, you will be seeing <laughs> another actual beauty video right after this one very soon because I already recorded it because it's focusing on this look that you see right here. I was thinking of doing some other things that kind of involved makeup. <laughs> I know, branching out Eve, but you're doing the same things. Yeah, kind of just like stuff I bought. I could do maybe some story times. I could get real personal. I want to, but I'm a little worried about that. Opening up personal things about myself onto the internet, but I think they would lead to like good discussion or I don't know, something weird. Shane Dawson's just been really inspiring me lately. I loved his videos. I've watched him for a very long time and then I like stopped, but then I started watching him again and his most recent videos have been like really <laughs> 
attacking the heartstrings lately. It just felt like a fresh, a, a breath of fresh air, like watching his content and watching like how real it was. And that was like, really nice out of just seeing the same videos over and over again. Okay, <laughs> so that was a lot I threw at you, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been thinking about lately and stuff like that. Sorry, it was probably really boring and you don't really care. <laughs> so I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching. And I really will see you soon because I do have that video already recorded. So you'll see me. All right. 